Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Got a 08 Dyna Street valve up here on the lift today, and uh, we're gonna do the full three hole oil change. That will be motor oil, primary, transmission oil, the whole shebang bang. That way, when the snow melts, you're ready to go ride. So, gonna take a close look underneath the bike, show you what all the drain plugs are and which one is which, how much oil you put in, and uh, just go right through it step by step. Let's get to it. All right, so we are underneath the motorcycle here. So right here is the transmission drain plug. This one here is the engine oil. And this plug here is the primary oil. So there's no particular oil order you have to do this in, but due to camera angle and everything, first I am going to take out the primary or the transmission oil. This will be a, I have to move this old line right here. Looks like it needs a zip tie on it. We're gonna break this free. I'll get the drain pan underneath the transmission oil one. And out comes the transmission oil. Set that drain plug off to the side. While that is draining, we're going to drain the engine oil. So, whoops. Five eighths wrench. Once that's loose, Now you're going to want to have your drain pan ready because as soon as you take this plug out of here, oil's coming out. And last but not least, the primary oil. Now, as these drain, we can take a look at this magnet right here on the end of the drain plug, and this should pick up any little metal shards. We'll try to dab the oil off of that. Let's take a look at that magnet right there. And there's only a wee little bit of metallic dust on there. That's actually pretty normal. Um, so we'll just wipe that off really good. Put a new O-ring on here and reinstall that one with the primary there's a wee little bit of metallic dust on there as well which is normal especially from the primary chain and the clutch and of course the transmission right there also looks pretty good not a whole lot of metal shavings and that's what they should look like so we're just going to wipe these clean New O-rings, they'll be ready for reinstallation. All right, now that most of the engine oil, or the oil's drained out, engine oil is still draining a wee little bit here. We'll wipe off the excessive oil under there. Take our new drain, our drain plug with a new O-ring. Whoops, make sure it's all clean there. And thread that up in there. And you can torque these to spec. You know with torque wrench? Just tighten it up till it feels like it kind of seats. It's just a plug. You don't have to kill it. You don't want it backing out, but 
you know, so don't have to kill the thing either. And from there, head over the transmission drain plug. This won't take a 5 8 socket. And just tighten that one up. Alright, so to fill your primary oil, you want to take your clutch cover off or your derby cover. If you have an access panel here, you can also take that one off instead. This model does not. drop it on the floor make sure you get it dirty so now once that is out it takes about one quart of oil which is luckily because gear oil comes in about one quart and you fill it to the bottom of the hole so you can't really overfill it as long as your bike is sitting up straight it's very important to have it sitting up straight for this If you use general gear oil, make sure it has a limited slip additive or friction modifier, as it may be called. That's what helps your wet clutch work properly. Or just use straight out primary oil, which has that friction modifier in it. So there's a cork. So I fibbed a little bit. It fills up till you can see it down in here, just below the lip. Once it's already back on there, make sure your gasket surface is clean. Put it up into place. Start all your screws in. Tighten these up in a crisscross pattern. Just snug them all up. And grab your torque wrench and torque them all to spec. Your primary is ready to go. Next step is going to be remove the oil filter. 
And when you do this, some oil is going to run out on the front engine mount. You make a couple little trays that go underneath there, or you can take some aluminum foil and put it up there. I have neither. So we're just going to take it off, let the oil leak, and then we'll have to clean it up. But luckily, these filters have a nice hex head on the back of them. Oil filter removal, nice and easy. Slide it right on up out of there, just like that. Set your oil filter off to the side and properly dispose of it. Now, before you install your new oil filter, you're gonna to want to take a little bit of oil and put it on the seal here. This keeps the seal from baking to the engine case after numerous heat cycles. This way, when you go to take it off again, it'll be nice and easy to remove. Thread it up on there. Now, tighten these up. You get a little, with this one, you get a little label with it. It basically shows, put some oil on there, crank it in until the seal makes contact, then go either plus three quarter or plus one additional turns. And you do not put oil on this oil filter. And from there, seal makes contact. And we go about three quarters of a turn more. And from there, we go back over the other side and fill up the oil. So first thing we're gonna do is fill the transmission. And on the second gen twin cams, the filler for the transmission is back here and it's right behind the stock head pipe. Takes a 3 8 Allen socket. Once it's loose, it should spin out of there with ease. You can lift up out of there. And there is a dipstick on it. Now you may want to use a funnel or um, this company that I'm not going to promo because they don't give me anything for free. Uh, has these cool little bags. Whoop. So you can get it down in there, hopefully without losing too much oil in the process and just squeeze the oil gently squeeze the oil right on out of the bag and this also takes one quart of oil now that that's back in there put the dipstick in right all the way in there and back it back out and we can check our level now remember with your transmission the bike needs to be standing level to get an accurate I'll voice over that shit. Boom, sitting right at the full mark. We're good to go. Last but not least, last but not least, fill up the engine oil. Set your dipstick in a nice clean spot. And uh, you can use funnel for this if you want, or you can be brave and try to pour it right in there. I like to be brave theory. Now from here, you can wipe your dipstick off with a clean rag. Take your dipstick, throw her back in there. Take your bike off the lift, put it on the kickstand, let it run for a few seconds, make sure your oil light goes out, make sure the whole oil system fills up, then turn it off, and then check your motor oil again with the, with the bike on the kickstand, because that's how it was designed. That's all I got.